Hey guys, hi, wanna make a cake? Come on. <laughs> so here we are gonna make our chocolate cake. We're gonna take it out of the plastic and then we're gonna go ahead and it, it always bakes with this big hump. So there's always a lot of extras, which is great, but that can get you in trouble. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and cut this cake in half um, and I'm doing it really fast since I double time it. And we're gonna mark our puzzle so that we make sure that we can line it up the same way again. And then um, we're gonna end up removing our top and I'm gonna pipe an edge on the cake so that I can add the simple syrup to it and it doesn't pour out to the edges. Uh, give that a second to go down. And one, two, three. And we're gonna add some fudge in the center. And uh, I'm getting that here in just a moment. And there we're gonna spread it out. And we're gonna go ahead and put some chocolate chips now in the center. And all of these are actually dairy free. Um, the only thing that's gonna have the dairy in this cake is gonna be some Nutella that I'm gonna add to seal the top of this. And you always want something, another type of filling on top of the chocolate chips so that the top layer of the cake adheres to it. And when you cut it, it doesn't come apart. So we're gonna go ahead and add an, a healthy amount of that. You never want your desserts to be chintzy. That's what keeps people coming back. And then we're gonna put the top layer, see, we marked it like a puzzle so we know where it went and it would land evenly. And um, we're gonna pipe the top edge as well. And then we're gonna add our simple syrup. This just helps us to go a little bit faster. And because you go faster, I think it also gets uh, moistened more evenly because you get a more equal layer of the syrup all over the cake at once. And then we're gonna scrape off the sides and remove the excess buttercream that oozes out. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and add, well, clean up, let's go ahead and clean this up. And let's go and we're gonna grab some more of the fudge. That's what we're gonna dress this cake in, is some of our fudge icing. And this particular fudge by Henry & Henry, um, it's kosher parv, um, but it is dense to spread out. It's not as like um, easy to spread, for instance, as like the Duncan Hines or the Betty Crocker. This one's got a lot of consistency, but it's also very good for melting and then doing drips on the cakes. So you've got to use a little bit more force um, in your wrist, but it's definitely worth it. On some occasions, it's even like it takes the cake with it. Um, so there can be some boo-boos, but like I always tell people, in my kitchen it's great because we get to eat our mistakes. That's pretty good. Not a lot of people can say that at work. We're going to clean up our tray here. And then um, we're going to go ahead and end up making like a circle on the top of the cake now in just a second. And we're going to end up putting a big dollop of Nutella there. But first I want to go ahead and correct some of the sides here and, and make it a little bit more even. So I'm layering it on top now with a softer fudge icing that's easier to spread to seal it, which I don't normally need to do. Uh, however, in this, cake, the, in this case, the material just wasn't responding the same way that it always does. Depending on the temperature in, in you know, of the weather, how much humidity it, it, there is or how cold it is, it can definitely affect um, the cake. And, and I know high humidity days, oof, the material just doesn't want to cooperate sometimes. And really, really cold days, you're working extra hard to get the material down to a pliable form. So we've got our trimmings on this cake and then we're going to finish it off with some chocolate chips, which the outer icing and the chocolate chips are both um, parv. So anyways, I'll catch you next time and we'll make sure to come again. <laughs> Bye guys.